For ease of record keeping, we usually define meteorological winter as the three coldest calendar months, December to February. But if we want to get picky, we can use daily averages to drill down and find the actual coldest three-month period. And using that definition, here's the start date of meteorological winter for some places in the state. It's right about now, generally from December 3rd to December 7th. So, for example, in Johnstown, the period from December 5th to March 5th is, on average, the coldest three-month period of the year. You can even see the moderating effect of Lake Erie here shifting that period later in the year by several days. And right on cue, Pennsylvania just had its first widespread mixed precipitation storm of the season. And I'd like to take a 3D view of that storm because it's typical of such winter storms. So let's draw a line from southwest to northeast across the state and plot the temperature along this line from the surface up about two miles into the atmosphere during the storm. We call this kind of plot a cross section. And let's start at 7 p.m. last Saturday. Now to orient you, the southwest corner of the state is on the left, the northeast corner on the right. The vertical axis is altitude. The top is about 12,000 feet. Temperatures are in Celsius. I've shaded in red where it was above freezing. That's really the key in these storms. Precipitation hadn't started yet at this time, but you can see already a thick layer of above freezing air occupied the southwestern third of the state. Six hours later, at 1 a.m. Sunday, the milder air had advanced northeast, but not near the ground. Instead, as often happens, the warm air went up and over the low-level chill, and that nose of warm air aloft sets the stage for sleet and freezing rain. And by 7 a.m. Sunday, the warm layer reached even farther to the northeast. And by this time, sleet and freezing rain were occurring in central Pennsylvania. Snowflakes formed high in this cold air, they melted, falling through the warm layer, and then refroze in the chill below, either in the air as sleet or on, on contact with the ground, which would be freezing rain. In southwest Pennsylvania, where the warm layer extended all the way to the ground, it was plain rain in places such as Pittsburgh. By when, 1 p.m. Sunday, the warm layer thinned a bit because some of the precipitation evaporated, which cools the air. The only part of the state that was snowing at this time was extreme northeast Pennsylvania, where the warm nose didn't reach, so the entire layer was still below freezing. But gradually, colder air wrapped in behind the storm so that by the wee hours of Monday, the atmosphere across the entire state was much colder. And by this time, where it was precipitating, it was mainly snow. Now, because these mixed precipitation storms depend so sensitively on the vertical temperature pattern, they're challenging to forecast. But I am confident in predicting that we will have more of this type of storm in coming months. What about in the period from Saturday to next Wednesday? Stay tuned. Our extended forecast is next.